Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm in the city of Asheville at Riverside Cemetery visiting one of the most haunted cemeteries in North Carolina. It's only about an hour drive from me. Now the city of Asheville be built this in 1855 and it is the final resting place of many Arthurs, congressmen, World War II vets, and there's tons of lore and scary spooky stories that are throughout this place. We are going to walk through a little at a time. It's bigger than it actually. This is this is huge. Like I, I kind of underestimated how big this place was gonna be. And it's like five o'clock in the evening. But I don't live too far away, so it's not gonna really kind of hinder any kind of time frame. But like it just goes on and on and on and on for miles. So we're gonna see if we see anything interesting. There's a whole section of Thomas Wolfe's family just right in this section. This also gives me a chance to knock off Buncombe County on my county list. If you go through my playlist, I have a separate county list for each county in North Carolina that I visited and those corresponding cemeteries. And this is Buncombe County, so it's going to be obviously listed under Buncombe County. There's a lot of people visiting the cemetery today. I'm trying to maintain their space and my space, but it's 80 degrees outside today. So places like this will get a lot of visitors. I've noticed a lot of cars parked around the entrance, people just walking back and forth. I think there's a playground further down there because I can see pieces of equipment and I can hear little children playing. And I'm pretty sure it's children of the earthly kind. Ha, okay. So I'm gonna assume that's like the maintenance building or like uh, an office building where they keep all the records and the public files about who's here. According to this monument, there's a few notable generals and congressmen who live here, or live here, live here, who reside here as well. Governor Zebulon Vance, General James Martin, Thomas Klingman, and Alan Davidson. Now, if you're familiar with uh, the Civil War, some of those names might ring a bell. I just got a hell of a bad vibe through the section beside the, um, the building, the office, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to kind of just look around a little bit. See if I see anything out of the ordinary, see if anything sticks out. Yeah, I don't like this section back here at all. It just feels really off. There's somebody jogging off to the left. Just a friendly reminder to always pay attention to your surroundings. Yeah, this whole section is just really creepy vibes. I don't quite what it, know what it is. There's nothing... Oh, wait. Hang on a minute. There's two really old headstones back in the corner. And my camera is glitching. So, uh, I'm going to head back there and see if I see anything. I love it when people leave rocks and stones and shells. It's actually very, very sweet for people to do. It's so strange because they're off, completely off, to the rest of the cemetery. Like, here's, there's the building the utility building the office building and then the two off the two gravestones that are off are way over here Let's see if we can't 
get any kind of names on them. I can barely make those out. If anybody can actually see this, let me know. And I also noticed there's a trail that goes down here. Now I'm not about to go down no trail by myself. So that's really sad. It says baby Berman. I'm gonna walk back up this path. See if I missed anything. As usual. You guys have any questions, comments? Or see anything that I don't? Drop a comment down below. Okay, I can still see my vehicle. That's something else I do. I always try to keep my vehicle in uh, view and then I'll come back and move it if I have to move it, depending on where I go. I'm on the opposite side of where I just was in that last clip. Um, it looks more like a newer section of the cemetery. There's some, mausoleums, there's some mausoleums around too. And there's people walking their dog. So just in case you hear voices, that's them. Check that out. That is super pretty. I love unique headstones. Anytime I'm gonna, anytime I see one, I'll definitely point it out. But that one, that one just caught my eye off the path. Faulkner. If you know your his, if you know your literature, that name is gonna sound familiar. Fortune Myers. That is such a cool name. There's actually a lot of names that I'm seeing that are in the cemeteries in my area, like Shuford, Brooks, Dunn. I mean, we're not far away, so it's got, that's going to be common to have names that kind of cross over and converge in other areas. I literally just walked a big circle from where I parked to the register's office, all the way around, back over to where I was close to the beginning, uh, the wolf section. So it's uh, it's pretty hot out here, and I, when I say I underestimated the cemetery. I underestimate it. It is so huge. I haven't even gone over there yet. It just continuously goes and goes and goes and goes. I am not gonna have time to hit all of this today. I'm gonna have to make a second trip out here. And like I said, guys, it's not far, maybe couple of counties away it took an hour to get here so it was a very decent drive and it was a beautiful day for it next time I, I'll bring my equipment I kind of wanted to get the feel for this place and research it before I brought in any kind of my any of my paranormal equipment that's just what you kind of need to do you want to make sure you know what you're getting yourself into you want to observe the spots you want to find out where the entrances and exits are and the good parking spots but um you guys know the drill like share subscribe comment and i will see you guys next video bye